XML data is one of the many kinds of data that you can consume in Excelsius. So to do that, you want to go to your Manage Connections button and add an XML data connection. Uh, the data in this example is going to be about social networks, so I'm going to give this connection a name. And below that is the URL that you type in. This URL could be an internet URL, an intranet URL for your company. It could be a URL to a Java, PHP, .NET application that generates XML data. Um, however, in this case, it's going to be just a local file. Um, this, this, so this is a local file to my computer, but this could be an HTTP address as well to, like I said, your internet from your company or the internet. I'm going to change the MIME type to XML text. And here, there's the Enable Load button. So I must check that to load data into my spreadsheet, as opposed to the Enable Send, which sends data out of the spreadsheet. So I'm going to add a range. And the name of the range is important. So if I look at my XML file, you'll notice that my variable name is Facebook Friends. That's the name that I have to use for my range. And I'll go ahead and map the range to some cells. And then I will set my connection refresh options to refresh on load and refresh every five seconds. And I'm going to refresh every five seconds. That way, when I change my XML file, the actual friends dashboard here will also then update as well. So now I need to configure my pie chart to show my Facebook friends. So I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to say that my data is in columns. And my labels are here. Now, notice that I have blank labels, so to get rid of those I have to go to Behavior and ignore blank cells in Values. Uh, the other thing that I also do is take advantage of Service Pack 3 of Excelsius, which allows me to display the label values right on top of the actual pie chart. So Data Labels, and I will make this white so it's easier to read. I'll hit Preview. And there you go, there are the Facebook friends. So let's uh, show you how this happens to change on the fly. So look, we got John. John has 150 Facebook friends. And that's what is in my file. Well, that's too many friends for him. He can only handle 100. So as I save this, once the connection refreshes, you'll notice that the pie chart adjusts. So he goes from 100 Facebook friends, 150 down to 100. Let me go ahead and do that again. Let's adjust Steve here. So Steve has 75. So Steve gets a bunch of new friends. He doubles up to 150. Watch Steve here. Steve will increase here. There he goes. There's Steve increasing. So now I have another option of what I can also do. Um, I've done my Facebook friends, so now I want to do my Twitter friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another variable to my XML file called Twitter followers. And I will save that. And I'll go back to my XML data connection and add another range called Twitter followers. And map the range to these cells. And yes, notice that I already do have data in these cells, but that's there just to help me so I know what the cells should look like ahead of time. Um, that data is actually not used when I run this because it's getting it from the data connection itself. I'll go ahead and close this and now I'm going to configure the column chart to handle that data. So I'm going to add a series and the first series the data will come from this from here and my labels will come from here and again, like the pie chart, I need to ignore my blank cells. So I'm going to ignore the blank cells. And I'm going to then give this chart a name. So Twitter followers. And I'll go ahead and preview this. And there's my Twitter followers. 
So if I go to my XML file and I adjust this now, so I'm going to adjust the number of Twitter followers that Eric has to 150, John down to 75, Adam will have 20, and Steve is going to be one of those guys that has a bunch of people following him, so he'll be, you know, 325. And as I save this, you notice that the Twitter follower chart will adjust once the connection refreshes. There it goes. And that's the simple XML data connection that you can use using your in your Excelsius dashboards.